Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to match each equation with its graph and to explain our choices. So we have y equals x squared, y equals x to the fifth, and y equals x to the eighth. So the first thing we can notice is that y to the x squared and y to the x, y equals x to the eighth, have even exponents. Therefore, their graph is going to look something like this, right? Looking like a general parabola. Meanwhile, x to the fifth has an odd exponent. Therefore, its shape is going to look something like this. So if we look at our graph, we have f, g, and h, the only graph that looks something like this, where as you go to the negative x values, your value goes to negative infinity. The only one that does that is f. So therefore, b, y equals x to the fifth, is represented by f. Now, how do we determine h and g? They both have this general shape, just slightly different. Well, the difference between y equals x squared and y equals x to the eighth is one of them has to be larger at the start, right? At the beginning, when we're close to zero, h is greater than g. But after a certain point, g becomes greater than h. So first, let's pick a point close to zero. Uh, we could do one half and say, okay, for a, y equals one half squared. This is equal to one to the one over four. And for c, y equals one over two to the eighth. This is equal to one over two to the eighth. And this number to the eighth is 256. So close to zero, a is larger. Therefore, we would say that h is probably a. But what about when we're further away? Well, let's go to y equal, or x equals two. Therefore, y would be equal to two squared for a. And for c, y would be equal to two to the eighth. In this case, we can see that c is larger. So if c is smaller at first and larger later on, we expect that to be g. y equals x to the eighth is represented by g. And y equals x squared, the only one left, is represented by h.